All right, let's go back to the callers who've been patiently uh, holding. But don't forget, the White House is honoring illegal immigrants. Uh, that's the headline from The Hill. That, that's the mainstream newspaper that reports on the House that is nonpartisan. <clears throat> White House to honor young illegal immigrants. You heard that right. This is the vanguard. This is the takeover. This is the end. They already got California. Get another 5% in Texas. It goes blue. Sayonara, baby. They will vote to take their guns. The armored SWAT teams will be directed to start the SWAT team raids. Civil war starts. And it'll be, it'll be CNN will be reporting just like they're reporting Al Qaeda is good and uh, the, the, the president of uh, Iraq is bad. They will be reporting the Patriots are bad and the illegal alien armies along with the Democrats will be good. And they'll probably start killing Christians. I mean, who knows? I mean, it's I'm, I mean, everywhere they get control, they do. I mean, that's down the road a decade or so. But they're not going to stop, folks. They take down countries. They know what they're doing. They're savage. They're hardcore. Republican leadership's with them. It's all a big party. Some of the articles up on Infowars.com right now. It's really a hot news day. DARPA brain chips to implant false memories. It's official uh, for you and your family. Uh, poll, majority of Americans object to engaging in fresh Iraq conflict. Border Patrol investigates reporters, but not flood of illegals. Well, they investigate enemy Americans. U.S. ignored ISIS threat to hype endless war on terror. Well, look at the World Net Daily headline. It's confirmed they armed them. I mean, it's establishment church groups aiding illegal immigrant invasion of U.S. That's confirmed. Large, in their own words, by the way. Largest gas pipeline serving Europe through Ukraine blows up to cut off Russian money. Who cares if it increases gas prices for the people of Europe? That's the, and we haven't even gotten to the cop punching the woman in the stomach. A Pittsburgh woman suffered a uh, beating from a police officer, and the scene was caught on video. Yeah, for no reason. Why not just execute her? I mean, you know, she, she is a citizen. She is dog garbage. She is droppings on the ground. You're a citizen, they see you as one thing, chump sucker, to have your pension funds, your 401ks, your rights, everything will be drained. Your women will be beaten. Everything you've got will be taken. Men will beat up your women, uniform men. Nothing will, everything will be taken because you will put up with it, then the maximum will be dumped out on your head because you want it, you got it. Uh, let's talk to Kevin, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hey, Alex. I got uh, two views. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, I'm just on my lunch break here, so I'll be quick. <clears throat> the first one is, uh, if you used to ask people outside of America what they thought of Americans, they used to tell you that, I like Americans, but I just don't like their government. That's starting to change now, where people are no longer saying that, giving them that sort of leeway, where now people are actually wanting to hold Americans' feet to the fire. I mean, it's it's quite interesting that... Oh, no, I agree. I get mad by some slack-jawed yuppie. This happens about once a week when I'm in a restaurant or something. They'll walk over, because this is what liberals do, uh, fake liberals. They'll go, aha, you're a kook. Nobody likes you. And I say, listen, I know you're in groupthink. I know everything about you. I know your profile. You're a pathetic slave. This is a private establishment. Get your ass away from my table before I have you thrown out of here. And they'll go, ooh, and I'll go, listen, punk, I don't have time. I, I, I agree with you. And I, I'm sorry for talking like that. I apologize to the, to the affiliates. I won't do it anymore. I'm trying my hardest, but go ahead. I'm a Canadian. I like to straight shoot. The other one I'd like to uh, get your feedback on uh, is sort of a metaphor. I sort of see this uh, population as ants in an ant farm. Uh, and even if we all got together and we all worked for unity, we still have the farmer who's outside that ant farm who's in total control. We can have nice cars, nice homes, even have nice relationships. But when it really comes down to it, that farmer is in total control. And that's what uh, top globalist, uh, Nobel Prize winner, his, his name will pop in my head, Bertrand Russell said in three different books, he said, our scientific dictatorship will so control the environment with an artificial reality when we're done that rebelling against our technocracy will be like sheep rebelling against the practice of eating mutton.
From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hey, now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com forward slash show. GCN up in Minnesota has had devices hitting their connections to the satellite and everything else and going after a bunch of other systems. They don't even know that outside of these offices and outside of Minnesota, there's multiple other systems just sitting there like, 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 like we're idiots under other names, you name it. I want to just tell the Pentagon and the criminals that work at the top of it and all of that, that that's what Cyber Command is about, is attacking the alternative real media in this country and taking us down. They admit that. And we've been attacked by Northcom computers. Uh, I mean, they don't even hide where they direct this stuff. NSA stuff, after our reporters went to the NSA, they took over our cell phones, took over a bunch of computers, messed with stuff, and we just love it. I mean, that only makes us better to add more redundancy and stuff. I mean, we're here to defend the republic. We know we're in a war. We don't just fall down on the ground in a fetal position when something happens. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've stayed up and on the air uh, but that's the type of stuff that's going on where it's not like computer stuff. It's not like it's like Stuxnet where they're coming in trying to block hardwired stuff and, and using it as a practice to take the country down. Uh, let's talk to uh, Mary in Washington. Mary, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yes. Hi, Alex. Um, I was watching your special report, Proof uh, We Run Al-Qaeda, which is uh, June 14th on YouTube anyway. And I made the observation that some of these, um, you know, Al-Qaeda redux uh, ISIS characters look all, all uh, really beefy, like American football players. And then I wondered, why would the Saudi princes, the secular Saudi princes, those, you know, leches and womanizers and so on, why would they try and rely on Al-Qaeda or ISIS, so that would be like herding cats, when they could simply hire Blackwater security mercenaries or whatever they're calling themselves. Uh, this because week. Blackwater would work directly Those through a contract, not through Saudi Arabia, and uh, you probably couldn't get Blackwater to go around and actually overthrow Iraq again. They're not even that immoral. The average special forces person that's in that halfway has to sign on to what they're doing. So they, they always use Saudi Arabia since 1901 to take over the countries there. So they're using the big army they have that they just used against Syria. That's that's why they're using that group. Um, I, I was thinking that anyone could be behind those ski masks, but you know, we had an agreement with Saudi Arabia that we protect them militarily. So Saudi Arabia might have just gotten tired of waiting, well, waiting for us, you know, and just picked up the ball and gone with it. They may, might have developed an army sure. sufficient enough to do whatever it is they want to do. Sure, Mary, I appreciate your call. Uh, listen, we know what went on. I, I mean, this is not hidden. They trained these military at bases in Jordan, in Syria, and controlled areas in western Iraq. That, that's mainstream news now. So this was set up to destabilize the whole region for Saudi Arabia. Bottom line. By the way, we just got a contact from Fort Hood. We'll give you a document cam shot of this. Infowars.com. Per the Texas military force acceptable use policy. Uh, and so this is out of the Texas Guard, I guess, out at Camp Mabry, and we got this contact through Fort Hood. Your IP address, 5590.53.46, URL, Infowars.com, category of this URL, violence, hate, racism. And I told you, they have gambling, they have porn, 
They have hacking. They have the category of violence, hate, racism. That's Obama talk. We're banned on military bases. Chris in Florida, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Yep. You want to talk, Chris? Are you there? Yes. Uh, in terms to the caller who said, don't feed the beast, uh, yes, we can follow the good example of tax protester Cindy Sheehan, especially in view of the article, articles like uh, Billions Over Baghdad 2007 Vanity Fair, where out of $12 billion from the Fed, that was sent to buy off the uh, Iraqi coalition provisional authority, $9 billion went missing. I'm sure you've seen the pictures of the pallets of cash. It just proves Yeah, that was just the first rollout. It's as high as $80 billion. And they even gave privates up to thirty grand to corrupt them and threaten to arrest them later so the military couldn't speak out. Right, right. And they, they've got to pay off the puppet tyrants, both within and without our country, for any hope of future control over them. So let's stop working for a privately owned, unaccountable central bank controlling all our currency and credit, which can only be spent at venues which accept it, a la company stores and, and our fascist company town country, but uh, instead we're establishing uh, all options to the Fed, such as publicly accountable community currencies that are denominated in time, so they are actually nationally and internationally exchangeable, and uh, things like uh, cooperative... Exactly. Time. Go to the Amish, go to the farmer's market, plant your own garden, get out of the system, get off the grid as much as you can, eat healthy, be loving to each other, uh, speak out against the globalist, well said. That's how you bring them down is exposing their operations. And, and, and then it doesn't matter if the zombies want to go along with it. A large minority can stop this. Dave in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. I was just calling to um, let you know that um, with the ISIS thing going on, there is um, a Fort Hunter Liggett in Camp Roberts here in California. Yep. And the bases are packed. And the, the military officers are staying there training for Iraq. That's what they're doing right now over there. Yeah, and then they'll give part of the country to the uh, Al-Qaeda folks saying it was a deal with them, partition the nation, call the other part Kurd, and the other part Shiite, break it in three pieces. Always been the plan, and they're now promoting that right now. Totally disgusting. Anything else? No, that's just it, man. Keep it up, brother. And Thank I, you. Uh, no, go ahead. Bye. Thank you. And bottom line, we are being blocked at more bases. If you're at a base or a library or anywhere being blocked, send it to showtips at infowars.com. We'll get an article out about where this is happening to you. Uh, but this is out of Fort Hood, and I guess they might have been looking at a Texas Guard portal when they got blocked. But that's a Texas Guard uh, report saying not allowed to go to that, I guess because we showed them running checkpoints and stuff for the kite festival and how they're being federalized. I guess that's a big no-no. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Scott in Michigan. You're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hello, Alex. Yeah, I'm just calling about how they're really throwing it in your face with the water foreignization. Here in town, you can go to www.cityofmuskegonheights.org and view the report for this year, how they're finally admitting that the fluoride comes from discharge from fertilizer and aluminum factories, the barium comes from drilling waste discharge, metal refinery discharge, the chromium comes from steel and pulp mill discharge. They're literally and by the way, the general public doesn't know that. But you should send us at showtips at infowars.com that link just to show headline city admits toxic waste added to water on purpose and then point out that, that worldwide they take the toxic waste as a big joke and put it in the water. Promise you'll send me the link to that city and that town with them admitting that to showtips at infowars.com. Will you do it? Yep, yep, we'll do, Alex. Say the name of the city again. City of Muskegon Heights. Dot org, all one word. www. And what's the name of the document? What's the name of the document? It's the Water Muskegon Heights Water System Water Quality Report 2014. And by the way, all of it says it. Up to 350 deadly chemicals. You are watching the best of the Alex Jones Show weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.